And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the... That Access Hollywood video sure has grabbed Donald Trump by the poll numbers. It's had big political consequences, but it's also had a big effect on women across the country. Thousands of women took to social media with stories of their own sexual assaults. Trump and his surrogates have called the accusers liars. They insist that his statements are no big deal, they're just words. This was locker room talk. Which raises the question, what is the psychological impact of toxic words? Let's start with plain rudeness, which is levels below what Trump said. Researchers who study rudeness have found it makes people less creative and worse at their jobs. In one experiment, researchers told participants to come up with creative uses for a brick. When the researchers were polite, people came up with really creative uses like, let's hang it from a wall in a museum and call it abstract art. But when the experimenter was rude, people came up with things that were logical but not very creative, including, and this is not a joke, build a wall. In a similar study, subjects who experienced rudeness said they would like to use the brick to murder someone, kill someone, or beat someone up. In other words, hearing rude comments makes people think more aggressively. You would try to negotiate down the Wrong. national debt of the United States, but what we want to do is to replenish the Such Social a Security nasty Trust woman. Fund by making sure even when it's filtered through TV, the ugliness has real-world effects. In one study, researchers showed people clips of candidates doing things like rolling their eyes, not even insulting each other by calling them nasty women. And even that undermined people's trust in government. Of course, abusive rhetoric doesn't affect everyone equally. The target, women in this case, pay a higher price. For one study, women kept diaries of all the sexist or demeaning things they heard in a day. And they were pretty bad. Things like, bitch, get me a beer, or you're a woman, so fold my laundry. And the more sexist stuff these women heard, the more they became angry and anxious. And in another study, it also hurt their self-esteem. One study found that sexist comments can even have an effect on bystanders. To measure it, researchers showed participants this video. Ooh, hey, Callie, nice shirt. It makes your boobs look great. The participants who saw the video with the sexist comment were more angry and afraid, and they wanted to distance themselves from men. Another study showed that hearing sexist comments made women so distressed that they drank and smoked more. So for the record, said, you're saying you never did that? things that, frankly, you, you hear these things, they're said. Let's be honest, we're living in the real world. This is nothing more than a distraction from the important issues we're facing today. Trump's excuse for all these comments has been that it's just words and that it's a trivial issue. But in the real world, sometimes words are the issue. 